In this video, we have uh, column A, uh, which has pen colors in it. And pen colors uh, would result in categorical data because each color would be considered kind of a category. Well, categorical data can be graphed using a bar graph. So we're going to create a frequency distribution of the pen color and then create a bar graph. So in order to create first our frequency distribution, I'm going to first need our colors. So if you go through, we have red, blue, green, orange, and yellow colors. And I want to figure out, all right, so here's my colors, and here's going to be my frequency. So I'm going to go ahead and just bold those. So I know those are kind of the title um, of my frequency distribution. Now, if I want to find how many red are in this data set. Now, you could just go through and count, but that could take a lot of time, especially if you have a very large data set. Now, my data set starts in column A2 and cell A2, and it goes down to A31. So it's not a huge data set, but I still don't want to go through and count all of those. So I'm, I can go to my formulas, and we are going to use a statistical formula called count if. Now count if is going to let us count with a specific criteria. Now the range is the cell of data, uh, the range of data. So A2 all the way to A31, right? Because that's where my pen colors reside in that area. Now the criteria for the column spot that I'm in, I want just red pens. So I type in red. Now it's important, I think, um, everything on my screen is lowercase. So I want to make sure that I'm also in lowercase, right? Because that is um, where I'm at. And I have seven red pens. So for blue, I'm going to use the same function. Now because I just used the count if function, it's under recently used. So count if, again, A2 to A31. Now I'm looking for blue. There's 11 blue, count if, A2 to A31, and now I'm looking for green. Boom, there's four green. Recently, it was count if, A2, A31, orange. Six oranges, count if, A2, A31, and now I'm looking for yellow. Boom. Now, if I know I have 30 numbers, it might be a good idea to sum up those 30, great. That just right there lets me know that my count if function worked properly and all 30 of my numbers were taken into account. So I have now created a beautiful frequency histogram uh, distribution here. A frequency distribution, excuse me. I'm now going to take that distribution and turn it into a bar graph. So I highlight. Again, I'm going to click on colors and drag to highlight that entire piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on Recommended Charts under the Insert tab here. And you can see a bar graph is one of the first things that pops up. Now, it automatically will populate with different items. So I like that my bars are already labeled on the bottom. But I don't like that this title here is Frequency. If I double click, I can get in there and I can rename that Pen Color. Now, it's important when you graph um, that you label your axes. And as you see right now, I have no labels on my axes. So if I click, I just clicked anywhere on the graph, right? And that caused this plus sign to come out. And I can click axis titles. You'll see that it just gives me two axis titles. I double click in there that allow me to type. So I can type frequency along the vertical axis. And again, I double click in there so I can type. And I'll type pen color along the bottom, right? The horizontal axis. I now have myself a bar graph dealing with my categorical data of pen colors. Again, I use a bar graph because categorical data is discrete, which means there is space between the bars.